Welcome and thank you for joining my channel Inspired by Cindy. Coming up next, I have a 20 minute challenging toning workout for you. You'll take this at your own pace, you'll rest when you need, and you continue when you're ready. So I suggest you grab your mat, roll it out, and I'll see you on the floor. Let's start the session by squatting a basic warm up, engaging that powerhouse glute. Make sure you draw that belly button towards the spine, chin up, reach forward. Let's warm up the shoulders as well. Don't lock your knees in as you come up. Make sure your toes and your knees are facing the same direction and really engage that glute. Let's fire it up. Now if you need to stop at any point during this follow along course, you rest, you stretch, and you pick it up when you're ready. So just as long as we're continually moving, that's the aim of the game. Also, continually remember, engage the core, engage the core. This is a toning class, so it's at a nice steady pace. Just a few more of these, we should be a little bit warm. At least our glutes will be fired up, that's for sure. And we're gonna hold it down and we're gonna pulse. These are tiny movements. Like I said, if you get crampy, or if it burns way too much, unbearable, come up, stretch it out, and come back down again. Your hands, you can take them behind if you like, opening up the chest, if that makes it easier. You can place your hands on your hips, or behind the head. So it just opens up the chest, stops you from falling forward. Can you go down a little bit more? Can the bounces be a little bit smaller? Now we're gonna go into side squats. So taking out the legs a little bit wider. Same principle, hips forward, knees in front, toes in front. And we take a step out to the side. As we do that, we bring the knee in as close to the chest as possible. So in this instance, you're engaging the quads, the glutes, the leg that's stabilizing you. So you're also balancing. Your chest is open, so you're engaging your core as well. Pointing the toes, so we're inviting long lean muscles. So it's two separate movements here. It's the squat and it's the lift. It's the squat and it's the lift. Keep the knee up nice and high. I'm going to take it over to the other side when you're ready. And up it comes. Try not to lean too far forward. Sit back with that squat. Try not to lock in the knees. That's it. Draw that belly button towards the spine. Keep it at a nice steady pace. We're after consistency today. Very few stops, if possible. But if you need to stop, just shake it out and just move on. You're gonna start feeling this in your outer glutes. Lift, make sure when you lower it's a nice soft landing. Focus on your balance. That stabilizing leg is working super hard as well. So keep it going. Moving on, we're gonna do side raise squats. So as you bring your weight down, you lift. Leg is straight, you're moving from your hips. That's it. My chest is still forward, so I'm not tilting over to one side as my leg lifts up. You're gonna start feeling it burning here like a hot soup but keep it steady it's not a kick up it's a lift 
So we rise and we lower. Start counting down to your last few before we take it over to the other side. How high can you lift that leg? How low can you squat in between? Let's take it over to the other side. Lift. You'll always find that one side is a little bit more flexible than the other. So don't beat yourself up about this. Even if you're slightly off the ground with that lift, you're still working the leg that's balancing you, the stabilizing leg that's on the ground. Draw that rib as close to the hip as possible as you lift. Well done, that's not easy. Now we're going to do some knee lifts into a lunge. So we really need to be stable here, draw that belly button in. You're going to lower yourself down into a high squat and hold that position. You bring that knee in and you tap it back. Now I'm doing a lunge back so I'm stretching the back of my leg as I come down, so I'm stretching my calves and my Achilles. But at the same time, my belly button's drawn in, my core is engaged, my spine is long, my neck is long, my shoulders are opened. Keep it steady. It's not easy stepping back. Find your rhythm. Really bring that knee up as high as you can. A lot of hip work today. Definitely some burning action happening in the glute and the stabilizing leg. To move in to coordinate is difficult. So the more you practice, the better you'll be at it. Shake that out, let's take it over to the other side. Lower yourself into a high squat and then kick it back there we go so lift and lower how far back can you reach can you get your heel down to the ground hips are square knees are in front same direction as your toes neck is long shoulders are open work on your balance that leg that's stabilizing you should be burning. Remember, shake it out if you need to and reconvene when you're ready. Breathe your way through this. Let's tone away. Moving on. Let's do our high lunge with a hip hinge. So big step back, hips are square. Front knee is slightly bent. I'm centering myself, palm to palm to chest. And I hinge forward. I only do five of these. As I hinge, my neck does not move, it's nice and long. The front leg is completely loaded up. Take it over to the other side. Big step back. Get into that high lunge. Heel up high. Center yourself. Lower yourself. Palm to palm and start to hinge forward. Only five of these. This is challenging because you're moving and balancing. Front leg is completely loaded up. 
It will start to burn. Work through it, please. Excellent. Now let's do some static side taps. Hips are square, lower yourself slightly in the same high squat position and tap it out to the side. I'm gonna tap out as far as I can so I really wanna reach. I'm loading up the leg that's balancing me, my stabilizer. My chest, my core is not moving with that leg as it taps out looking straight ahead. Hands on my hips to make sure my hips are square. Keep it at a nice steady pace. So to tap, tap, in and out. Really engage that core, that core is keeping you still. We'll work this till we can't work it anymore. Push through it. Keep the stabilizing leg slightly bent, do not straighten it. And let's take it over to the other side. Lower yourself, knees are soft, bend. Now tap it out. See how far you can actually tap it out without leaning over. Really brace yourself so your core is like a natural break it will stop you from falling over it's really hard to move from a point of instability and that's exactly what we're doing now we're training our body to move from a point of instability balancing on one leg and moving is difficult so let's start toning away tap it out further point a little bit harder engage a little bit more Scoop that belly button in. Lengthen the spine. Keep going. You are almost there. Shake it out whenever you need to shake it out. But please come back. Excellent. Walk it out. Shake it out. Now we're going to tap back. So come down into that high squat and tap it back and tap it forward. You're still balancing. See how far back you can tap. We're gonna add some arms to this and we're gonna activate our triceps and push it back. Keep your elbows high, neck is long, really reach back. If you feel uncomfortable doing this, keep your hands on your hips. But I find if my arms are doing something at the same time, my balance is a lot better. So tap it back, reach it back, neck long, scoop the belly, lengthen the spine, hips are square. You'll find the more that you do these exercises, the more resilient you will be. So toning also incorporates conditioning, repetitive movement. Let's take it over to the other side. Get into that slightly bent position. Now we're going to take our arms out to the side. So lateral raise. Really squeeze the shoulder blades together as you come up. Tap it back. Lengthen. That stabilizing leg does not move. It will be in the same position from the tap in to the tap out. Breathe through this. Stop if you need to stop. But it's completely empowering when you can do these exercises for over 30 seconds. And that's pretty much the challenge today. Each of these exercises will go over 30 seconds. So let's reach up. Take a deep breath in, roll down, stretch it out, hang. Let's shake that off. Let's forget about those last exercises and go into an airplane warrior pose. 
standard, this is definitely testing your balance. Hands overhead, leg behind. Stabilizing leg is soft. As I lower my chest down, my arm comes down as well. My arms go behind. And this is the lead up. All those side taps, back taps, forward taps, lunges, knee raises, all lead to this one exercise. This is complete control and stability. We only do five on each side and then we take it over to the other side. Arms above your head, position yourself, tap it out. Reach back, very challenging exercise. Warrior three in aeroplane mode. We will up, up the ante with this in the next lot of exercises. You take your time with this. As your chest lowers, your leg lifts. Use it as a hinge, counterbalance, lengthen your neck. Really draw that belly button in. Feet together, reach up, and let's move on. Aeroplane, warrior three, 10 times. This time, we bring the knee tapped forward. So you bring that leg back into aeroplane mode, then bring the leg completely forward. So reach and tap, that's it. Reach and tap. You might actually find this a little bit easier, bring your leg all the way in as opposed to tapping it just behind. So reach it forward. Get the momentum going. Don't go too slow with this. Get it at a really nice pace where you're able to do it continually. Let's take it over to the other side. Arms above head. Knee up as we push it back for number one. Two. Three. Can we come down lower? Four, can we reach back further? Really lengthen. Each time you finish one, reach up as high as you can, stretch it out. We're almost there. Great effort doing 10 of these on each side. This is the last one. Reach it up and shake it out. Let's get rid of hitting that. We're gonna reposition ourselves, refocus, take a deep breath in, palm to palm. Bring the palm towards the chest as we give gratitude. Tuck that chin in, roll it down, lengthening the back of the legs. Let's walk it forward into a full plank position. Elbows, wrists, shoulders in alignment, draw that belly button in. We're gonna do a variation of a mountain climber. We tap each elbow with our knee. Hold it, then you'll give me one push up. You can come down on your knees for that. Then go straight into your downward dog. You'll come up high on your heels and roll it forward into a spinal wave, into a cobra. You'll tuck your chin in, wave back into a downward dog. And then you go back into your plank. Let's do that again. Mountain climber. Let's work the diagonal. Hold it there. Now let's work the push up. Go straight into downward dog, give yourself a stretch. From here, roll it forward into your cobra. Tuck your chin back in and roll it back. Well done. Back into your plank. Nice and strong. Mountain climber. Tap it on each side. Nice big push up. Downward dog, get that really big stretch, hips high, roll it forward. Chin up, tuck it in. Last time, go into your plank. 
This time, we'll start off with a push up. So lower it down and come up. Now do your mountain climber. Good. Now go into downward dog. Roll it forward for the last time. Cobra, make it nice. Open up the chest, keep it high. Tuck your chin in. Go back into downward dog. Go into that plank for me. And now slowly lower your body to the mat. Let's go into some baby cobras. So peel your chest off the mat and bring it back down. Try not to put too much pressure on your hands. Just lifting up the chest and come up as high as you can. Feet stay grounded, hips are square. Really feel the lower compression of the back. Now, hands and chest will peel off. Hands shoot forward, pulling it back into a superman or a lotus. Bring the hands back down and lower. So let's do that again. Come up, chest and hands, reach it forward. Push it away into a lotus, bend the elbows and come back down. Really challenging, great for posture, lift. Reach, push and pull, bend the elbows and lower again. Take your time, lay there until you're ready to peel up and stretch it out in a child's pose. Push your armpits down on the ground, lengthen your arms. Give your spine a nice long stretch. When you're ready, pull that mat apart come up into a downward dog and slowly walk your feet towards your hands. When you get there, fold forward, head to knee, and then slowly peel that palm to palm, palm to chest. You did really well today. The class was not easy. It was continuous, it was repetitive, and it was stabilizing. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So until then, take care, see you soon.